I see a treadmill in a gym with bad music and then I just have to pass time. Okay, 30 minutes, let's do it. It's like paying a fine. That is a recipe for disaster. This is Motiform Athleticult and in this video, I'm gonna tell you why you should stop doing cardio. So how dare I say that you should not do cardio? Most doctors say it, most trainers say it. You should do cardiovascular workout. You should run, you should jog, you should ride bicycle, you should whatever. It's good for your health, it's good for your heart, it's good for, your, for losing weight and for longevity in general. So how dare I, why should you say do not do cardio, Moti? What do you mean? I'll tell you exactly what I mean when I say do not do cardio. So first of all, we need to define what is cardio. Cardiovascular exercises compared to non-cardiovascular exercises. Does my heart not work in non-cardiovascular exercises? Let's make it simple and clear. When we talk about cardiovascular system, first of all, let's start with definitions. What is cardiovascular system? What is cardio workout? What is non-cardio workout? So walking, running, jogging, swimming, um, riding a bicycle, that's all cardiovascular workout. You can do it in the pace. The heart rate is or something about 40 to 60 percent. It depends on your level of intensity you want to do. That's something that is considered a cardiovascular workout. You can do it 30 minutes for one hour, for two hours, etc. Non-cardiovascular workout is something like sprints, which may, many times is being confused and being thought as cardio. But sprint you can do for one minute, maybe two minutes, you cannot sprint for one hour. You can sprint, stop and sprint again. You can sprint, jog, sprint again, but that's interval training. That's high intensity, low intensity, elevating the heart rate when your blood generates lactic acids or when you're running in a slower pace and you can even talk and that's like much more moderate cardio exercises. So first of all, we really have to understand these two definitions. So walking, you feel your heart elevated a little bit, jogging, swimming, riding a bike, that all can be considered as cardio. Lifting weights is of course not cardio, but technically if you take a very small weight and lift it for non-stop for 30 minutes, then it's cardio, right? Of course, we usually don't do that. We do 10 reps with higher volume and with more weight, so it's not cardio but technically even lifting weights could be cardio. Do you think that yoga practice is considered cardio? So definitely when you practice yoga, it could be power yoga, which is much more than just cardio. You can you actually really have to rest between poses. So you've got uh, power vinyasa, power yoga, shtanga yoga, which is much more intense. And you've got a more uh, easy yoga like yin yoga, hatha yoga, which is not even cardio, right? It's really something very, very basic, but still it's very healthy and really helps you. Also, when you practice yoga, it's not the point to burn calories and it's not the point to do a cardio workout. It's just not the point. So you can consider yoga as cardio, but it's really, you're missing it. You're missing the, the idea behind it, but it could still count as cardio for for your doctor or for whatever. So it's really important to understand that, first of all, what is cardiovascular exercises. It's also called aerobic and anaerobic exercises sometimes. And yet again, I'm back to the question, why should you not do cardio? When most people hear cardio do three times a week, four times a week for one hour, I hear a chore, I hear something I have to do, I hear something I need to do so I won't be sick, I have to burn 200 calories. I see a treadmill in a gym with bad music and then I just have to pass time. That is a recipe for disaster. If you are very, very conscientious and you have strong willpower, you will do it. And many people are and do. However, you can do much more. And for many people that are not that keen and driven to push themselves, just start doing it and stop just because it's boring it's, they don't see the point they have to do it don't pay a fine paint a painting 
why not do more than just do what you have to do just because you need to burn calories or you need to keep a healthy cardiovascular system try to do something that has some interest develop some skill then you lose time when you do it you're supposed to do 30 minutes but suddenly you've done hour and a half you didn't notice time flies when you're having fun it's not even fun it's just more meaningful and more engaging and more challenging than just walking or running or swimming or whatever it's cardio but i don't consider it as cardio i don't look oh i need to do 45 minutes of cardio i just take my bicycle to the beach swim with the fish say hi fish good morning hi fish check out the waves feel see the sun feel my body feel how i what's my energy levels today what's my flexibility how's my strength whatever sprinting a little bit on the beach running a little bit maybe for 10 15 minutes total of almost one hour of cardio but it's so much more than that so considering and calling it cardio is really weak is really like it's missing the point there's so many more things you can do that can be considered cardio and still do it you will lose perception of time if you're choosing some exercise that you like any ball game right you can play soccer you can play basketball which could be also more intense but you can do it for an hour for two hours you're supposed to do 30 minutes of cardio but you played basketball for two hours with your friends you didn't notice time flew by that's because it's much more engaging meaningful and challenging than just walking on a treadmill think about what would you be if in 10 years from now you would do cardio on a treadmill 30 minutes every day six days a week or would you do something like yoga martial arts jiu-jitsu karate whatever krav maga self-defense uh, play basketball cartwheels on the grass i don't know playing volleyball with friends think about 10 years of this or 10 years of walking on a treadmill on your own i'm not saying of course it's better than just being overweight and unhealthy of course then a treadmill is better than that and if you have to push yourself with the wheel then push yourself with the wheel but you can do much more you can actually create and get some skills you can do more than just run or just do one specific movement you can jump you can roll you can go up and down you can flip there's so many ways the body can move and doing just one specific type of cardio is also something that is extremely limited think where would you be you can also create like connections and relationships with people when you teach when you share knowledge when you're like playing basketball it's like also like social issue it's it's not a chore it's something you're looking forward to it's something that builds you it challenges you it's more than just okay 30 minutes let's do it it's fulfill your potential also when you're doing cardio some of you are professional runners professional joggers professional marathon runners that's a bit different maybe also i think you should do other cardio because the body moves not just in one specific pattern you should do much more than that but it's definitely a challenge definitely something you should try do do the long run for a while if you have enough physical abilities if you don't have any knee pain joint pains or other issues if you're overweight definitely don't start with running start with walking start with something much more easier that is less taxing on the body but don't do cardio man you label something as cardio and you, you just ignore so many other factors flexibility strength skill movement intelligence understanding your movement patterns your breath everything around it it will change your ball game totally it will totally change the way you see it might take some time until you find the best exercise or discipline or practice that you want and you find it engaging and meaningful it could be qigong it could be playing with uh, it could be playing with balls it could be anything it's still something that elevates your heart rate moves you but also creates skill so you can do so much more than just cardio. 
Another thing that we always forget that different types of cardio can create different injuries or different benefits. It's huge, it's different. Like if you're swimming or if you're r running one hour a day, who do you think has more chance to have knee problems or joint problems or any other issues? When you run, there is much more impact. It's more dangerous. I'm not saying don't run. I'm saying that there is a big difference in injury and recovery when you talk about cardio. That's it, I had to give it out, I had to let it out. Hope you liked this video. My name is Moti from Athletic Health. If you like this video, feel free to share, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Until then, move intelligently. Move with grace, move with intent.